7 and theorem states that it is possible to simplify any linear circuit, no matter how complex, to an equivalent circuit with just a single voltage source and series resistance connected to a load. A linear circuit is defined as a circuit where all the underlying equations are linear, that is, no exponents or roots. This is true for passive components such as resistors, inductors and capacitors, but there are some components, especially certain gas discharge and semiconductor components, which are nonlinear. That is, their opposition to current changes with voltage and or current. As such, circuits containing these types of components are called nonlinear circuits. Thevenin and equivalent circuits are hence larger, more complex linear circuits that have been reduced to a single voltage source and resistance in series with a load. A Thevenin equivalent circuit can be reduced in several different ways and usually varies depending on the circuit components and layout. The most effective way to reduce a network to a Thevenin equivalent circuit is to find the Thevenin source voltage by removing the load resistor from the original circuit and calculate the voltage across the open connection points where the load resistor used to be. Next, find the Thevenin resistance by removing all power sources in the original circuit and calculating total resistance between the open connection points. Finally, draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit with the Thevenin voltage source in series with the Thevenin resistance. The load resistor reattaches between the two open points of the equivalent circuit. Here is an example from experiment 4 that shows how a Thevenin equivalent circuit is calculated. First, remove RL and replace it with an open circuit. For this circuit, we can calculate the voltage across this open connection using the voltage divider rule. Hence, E Thevenin is equal to the source voltage E multiplied by R2 all over R1 plus R2. Next, we can calculate the Thevenin resistance by removing the power source and replacing it with a short circuit. To calculate the Thevenin resistance, we just find the total resistance of the circuit. From the diagram, we can see that R1 and R2 are in parallel with each other and in series with R3, and thus the total resistance is equal to R1 multiplied by R2 all over R1 plus R2 plus R3. Lastly, redraw the Thevenin equivalent circuit with one equivalent voltage and resistance and the load RL. Any calculations can now be made following the rules for series circuits. In summary, Thevenin equivalent circuits are a great way to reduce complex linear networks into much simpler circuits which in turn makes understanding and calculating various components on the circuit a lot more accessible.